Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to a, another studio tutorial. When I made the instructions available for Ryan Crowboth's Hogwarts expansion, a lot of people were asking me what bricks they could swap out for generic colored bricks in order to save money. At the time, I didn't know how to do that, but last week on Studio LEGO Designers Facebook group, a couple of people shared their method on how they can swap out the different colors of bricks in order to make a bricklink order and save as much money as they can by ordering in nondescript bricks. So I'm going to share their method with you in this video. First, I want to thank Reuven Koss and Barry Crossan for offering this suggestion. I know it's going to be a big help for me moving forward when I create my designs for clients and when I do a lot of orders, especially big part orders on Bricklink to be able to just choose whatever bricks I need for the project. So if you're building on a budget, this is definitely something you're going to be interested in taking a look at. At Playwell Bricks, we pride ourselves on providing our clients with exclusive professional quality designs. If you go to our website, you can find out about our team, the projects that we've worked on, and how you can contact us for your own design. And if you're on Facebook, take the time to check out the Studio Lego Designers Facebook group. This is a fantastic community where you can show off your latest designs or get help in studio. Hope to see you there. So we'll take a look at the inner structure of the Hogwarts expansion now. You can see all these blue 2x5 bricks are all interchangeable with other colors as well as the lime green ones. All these Technic frames again could all be changed out to different colors. So what you want to do as you're going through your build process is to select a color that is not at all in any of the rest of the design. It doesn't matter what color it is. It could be coral pink. It could be lime green. As long as it's not in the exposed part of your model being the parts that people are going to see. So in this instance, lime green is not seen throughout this build so this is actually a good color to choose but then we have these blue pillars which there are some blue elements that you can see so we're going to want to change those to a different color as well with the gray technic frames gray is seen on the outside of the building so we want to change that to a different color so just Pick all of these to be the same color that you want. So let's go and first of all, you're going to want to hide unavailable colors so that you can choose whichever color you want from the list. And we'll go something like light green, which isn't in the model at all. And to change all of those at once, we are going to go and click by color and it will just grab everything that is blue. If you want to only grab specific parts, for instance, there are some blue pins here that we do want to keep as blue pins. So then we would go with type and color and that way we would only select those blue pillars and then we can go and change our colors to the light green. So then we want to do all of these Technic frames as well. So in this case, we have them all in submodels. So if you want to make it easier on yourself, you can break down these submodels just for your parts list. Again, it's easier if you're doing this as you build the model rather than going back after the fact and revising this but in this case what we'll do here is release this model and then we'll grab all of the sub models that open up and release those as well and now that we have that we can go by type and color 
And then when we come down here, these ones are still in submodels, but all these submodels are linked. So we will just edit this one submodel and change the color for that. And then that got most of our parts. The rest we can just go by type and color and change those over. And then we would do that with all the other gray Technic bricks that are in there, as well as the black ones that are here. So when you've gone through and adjusted your model so that the off colors are in the understructure or in the non-visible parts of the model, then you can upload your model into BrickLink or you can use the XML export feature. So we're going to use this bright pink brick to demonstrate how you're going to change it on BrickLink. So we will upload this to our wanted list. Okay, so now we're in BrickLink and as you have all your bricks here, you're gonna have that one color that is going to be a different color than everything else because you changed it out. And then what you need to do is select all the bricks of that particular color and then click color and choose not applicable and then apply. Now when BrickLink goes to search for that part, it's not going to take into consideration what color it is, which means you're going to be able to get your parts much more easily from a bunch of different sellers instead of having to search out that one particular color. Of course, that means it's going to make your build much cheaper in the long run. So I thought this was a great suggestion and it's something I'm going to be doing in the future when I do my designs is really think about what parts are going to be exposed and which ones I can change out to a different color and follow this method when ordering in bricks. I hope it's going to help you out as well. Thanks again to Reuven and Barry for their suggestions. If you have any tips that you'd like to share with studio users, please feel free to leave a suggestion in the comment below. And if you have any suggestions for other video ideas that you would like to see, then you can also leave that in the comment section. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Keep dreaming of bricks. Bye-bye.